The first year in the Big 12 Conference was a mixed bag for the TCU Horned Frogs, going 7-6, and six, including a thrilling triple overtime loss to the Red Raiders in Fort Worth. But they played most of 2012 without some key pieces, including tailback Wayman James, who was lost to an ACL after just two games, and quarterback Casey Paha, who left the team after a drunk driving arrest. But the growing pains of playing 16 freshmen last year should pay dividends in 2013, as the Frogs return an experienced group and have talent all over the field on both sides of the ball. A huge hit by Chris Hackett on Darius Jennings. Including a couple of all Big 12 defensive first teamers in Devontae Fields and Jason Verrett. Middle and it's intercepted, undercutting around was Jason Verrett. Those two anchor a defense that returns nine starters and will be a force to be reckoned with in 2013. We're finishing 16th last year in total defense, even though the Big 12 had five of the country's top 15 offenses. The question will be at the quarterback position, though. Has Casey Paha put his problems behind him, and can he regain his form he had in 2011 and part of 2012? And if he can't go, Trevin Boykin now has eight games of Big 12 play under his belt as a freshman and should be ready to step in. <laughs> coach Kingsbury's first Big 12 test as a head coach will be a tough one, but it will be at home as the Horned Frogs invade Lubbock for a Thursday night contest on September 12th. In only their second year in the conference, look for TCU to have something to say about who takes home that Big 12 title.